In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God in the silence of our hearts. Brother, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. We take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are sitting at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man whose graciousness lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever. 
His horn shall be exalted in glory. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. morning. Welcome to all of you in our church and those of you watching on our live stream. What are the treasures of our church? We all have certain properties and things that we own. Maybe it's our clothes, maybe it's our furniture, maybe it's our telephone. These are all material things that we might own. Everything we have really should be something that we use for the greater glory of God. Everything. But what are the real treasures of the church? Well, today is the feast day of St. Lawrence. He's one of the seven deacons of Rome. He's one of my two favorite deacons, St. Lawrence and St. Stephen. St. Stephen was the very first deacon. Both Stephen and Lawrence were martyred. Now, Lawrence, one of his responsibilities as a deacon in Rome was to care for all the money of the church of Rome and to care for the poor. Well, at that time, the emperor demanded Lawrence to turn over all of the treasures of the church, all of the money, everything that the church had at that time. And that was about the year 300. So, what did Lawrence do? He found the true treasures of the church. He gathered the poor. He gathered the sick. He gathered the lepers. He gathered the widows and the orphans. All of the true treasures of the church and presented them to the emperor. Here you go, emperor. These are our treasures. So what did the emperor do? He put him to death, put him on a gridiron, kind of a grill, and roasted him. St. Lawrence was laying there and told his executioners after a while and said, you know what? I think I'm done on this side. Can you flip me over? Even in death, he had kind of a sense of humor. And then he prayed for them and prayed for the conversion of of Rome. In our gospel today, Jesus talks about a grain of wheat. Now this gospel happens, is, is spoken right before Christ's crucifixion. 
And he talks about we have to die to live. St. Lawrence had to die as a martyr. We all, we all get to die at some point, but it's that dying that brings us into eternal life. When Christ died on the cross, it created a much greater opportunity for us. He opened the gates of heaven for us. It's in dying that we truly blossom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Gather as a family, united in faith, let us bring our prayers and petitions before our loving Father. For church leaders, may the Lord continue to guide and strengthen them as they serve God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of power, may God strengthen them in their efforts to serve the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from loneliness or isolation, may God bring them comfort and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the treasures of the church, which our diocese will celebrate this Saturday, as they invite the poor and the destitute for a meal, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, may the Lord help us to die to, to oneself in order to produce good fruit for the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, and especially for Lorenz, Lorenzo Ruiz, may they enter into the eternal place of rest prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pause for a moment to lift up to the Lord those special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we bring these needs before you, trusting that you will respond to our prayers. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, 
the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is he truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God? For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and with our end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. That's your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter into my room, for only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of beautiful service which we render on the Feast of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Oh, 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 oh.